Good afternoon, everybody. It is September 12th. We just are cracking into hard red spring wheat um, up at the North Farm. And uh, this is the field, actually, we call this the hazel quarter. This is uh, the first quarter I bought up here. And it is rocking out. We got some crazy yields going on here. Super stoked about it. Oh, 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 we're going over it. We're going over it. We're going over it. There it is. Um, it's about 15% moisture ish. It's definitely growling the old combine. We're doing cracking out at one mile an hour right now. We're going to go back up to about 1.5. Two tops. So our yield kind of bounces all over the place. This yield is actually pretty accurate. Um, I think it's going to be close to 100 bushels an acre, which is crazy for hard red spring wheat. And I'm loving it. This is also the field that held, this is probably going to be our best field. I should note that. This is the field, uh, I've put a lot of, we put a lot of work into this field, bringing up its uh, nutrition, um, doing all of our maps and soil sampling. And so just so you know, like I targeted for a 90 bushel crop. That's the nutrients, the package that I put down. And uh, it was pretty dry up here. It didn't feel very good, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't feel very good. I was. To be honest, I was actually really thinking it was probably going to be about 50, like 50 bushel acres, open for 60. This is blowing my mind right now. Maybe we should turn around here. Backing up. Can't remember if I said this or not, but this is the field that had all the organic matter. I was having a lot of trouble. Uh, seeding this field. Remember, uh, I can include the video. Check it out in the description. This is the field that I was struggling with all the organic matter I was plugging. I have 12 inch spacing drill because we don't harrow up here. Well, maybe we might have to start, but we haven't had to harrow. Don't worry about the reel. We're just trying to make a corner here. Everything was rolled. Thank goodness. And look at the look at the straw we're leaving. Like I actually have my stationary blades in. We're still going over here. Come on. Get your header down there, Mike. Focus, buddy. Swap tracks here. Uh, where's my tracks? Well, there it is. Grab a line. So obviously we have some lodging going on and we're just trying to make sure we get this. nice looking sample can't tell because my windows too dirty we don't have it graded yet oh I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss so these sprayer tracks is uh, from fungicide timing when we did our fusarium head blight I did, uh, I did spray these fields, but I got the plane to do it, to bring the crop in. Let's see if we can look at our sample here. So 
this thing is a pretty good weed eating machine, which that's one thing we got going for it. Because it's definitely not a lentil eating machine, I can tell you that right now. It's a good thing we have the S series up here to bail us out of uh, our lentil problem that we ran into. So I'm going to sit back and I'm just going to really enjoy this because it's been a long time since I've cut a nice crop. Actually, we cut a nice crop up here last year, but we haven't cut a nice one yet this year, except for being up here. So, all right. All right. I've been cutting here for uh, probably the last half hour or so. Yeah, I disconnected my horns. I got so sick of those things. There's one sad horn on the other side that you can kind of hear still. So, where are you, sad horn? I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug you too. Show your face. Show your face. Where are you? There you are. Right there. I'm coming for you. All right, that'd be the last one. The only downside to unhooking all your three horns, because you have three horns, you can just pop one wire off and you get rid of that really annoying. Uh, Honky. Mike, what the honky for is so you don't stick your hand in a place when it's running when you should. Anyways, let's move on. This is the wheat. So on that video when I was out seeding and having trouble getting through that stuff, this is the area. I was actually a little bit further that direction. I was not near the trees. I was probably only like maybe a thousand feet on that side. Not even. 800 feet. But uh yeah, this is the crop. So, let's uh, get out of my shadow here. Obviously, it's got a little bit of lodge going to it. Looks like it filled three row. Three row. That one might be four, but that one's three. That one's three. That's just two. This stuff was filling in the heat. That one's two. Oh, here, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Hold on here. That one's three. That one's two. So, like, it can fill four row. Just so you know, four row. Four row and then three row. But anyways, I'm not complaining. I am super happy and thankful for our yield. Here's some of our uh, organic matter from our canola. Still mud under here. This is our canola straw from last year. We had, uh, I think it was like a 60 bushel canola crop out here last year. Here's some more. All right. Um, there's some more. Sorry about the wind, it is windy. And then over here, I'll just walk over here for a minute. Actually, I'll run. Sorry about that wind. This is the lodge stuff. It's not cut super awesome. Got some green stems in here. This was all sprayed, so that way it would die and harvest a little easier. Right now it's dry out. It's testing like, well, it was up to 15. Earlier today it was 17 because we had a rain come through. It's now down to like 14. But tonight, well, if it stays windy, it won't get too dewy. But this will get very thick. Like I'll have to put my uh, stationary blades back up. We already are building some more organic matter. But super stoked, guys. Super happy. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Yeah, we just threw the other Demco uh, hopper extension on just this afternoon. So this is actually the North Farm Combine. It didn't have it yet. Ashton is on the other X9, which is the South Farm. Which, that's the one that we're using down there. She is picking up canola swabs. But, oh yeah, a little update. There's a, there's a, there's a shaft that goes through this header. And then it's a PTO drive down to the cutter bar. Well, we broke the shaft right here, clean right off. 
um, last night. So, like, we had a lot of problems yesterday. We were plugging the combine and then broke the shaft that runs half to the left-hand side of the cutter bar. So our dealer was awesome. They're freaking awesome. They were out. They got us all repaired up. We didn't have a shaft. We have to order that. They took it to a welding shop and they made sure it was perfectly level and straight. Welded that puppy up, came back, slapped it back on. So we will have the other 50 foot up, or up and operational. And I think Ashton is gonna join us on uh, wheat tomorrow. Oh yeah, but you will get this code. It will pop up um, when you shut your thresher off. But it will not bug you any more than that. Sample's pretty clean. Look at that. Pretty happy with the sample. going to yield at the end of the day my guess is it probably and it probably will finish off at about 90 average would be my guess especially because once we go over there we hit some hilltops it's probably down to 70 on the hilltops which is still really good by the way that's really good man i was happy if we could just break 50 50 bushels an acre i was happy if we can near double that blows my mind Uh, and I don't believe the rest of the wheat is going to be this good, just FYI. This is kind of our best field. We've had it the longest. we put the most money into this land. This is my fourth crop that I've taken off up here. Uh, the first year was red lentils. First year coming up here, bought this quarter. First year, stuck at the red lentils. And then the second year was barley. And then... Last year was canola, and then this year is wheat. All right, guys. I'm going to sit back and continue to enjoy this. You guys.
guys have yourself a beautiful one. Thanks for following me around, by the way. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, I can answer some of your questions. Hopefully, I can uh, learn from you guys as well. I always like to learn as much as I can. The day we quit learning is the day we're dead. Just FYI. All right, I'll catch you on the flip. Adios, amigos.